Hey friends! Today we're talking about something super cool called pronouns. Pronouns are little words that help us talk about each other. We all have pronouns. Some people use he and him, like this bear. He's so cuddly. Some people use she and her, like this cat. She's so playful. Some people use they and them, oh, like this frog. They like to hop. Can you say he's so cuddly? Good! Can you say she's so playful? Good! Can you say they like to hop? Good job! And it's important to ask people what their pronouns are because you can't always tell by what they look like. Here's how you do it. Hi, my name is Lily. My pronouns are she and her. What about you? Then the other person can tell you their name and pronouns. Using the right pronouns makes everyone feel happy and included. It shows that you care about them. Plus, it's an easy way to be a good friend. Ugh. I just hate this so much. Now, you may recognize this person if you're a regular watcher of my channel because we have previously covered this individual doing disturbing things, like when this person went to Disney and in front of lots of children in the background described their genital surgery using food as props in a slightly nauseating way in full voice that many children in the background could hear and just in a very unusual setting to discuss such a thing. It was very bizarre and it was roundly condemned across the internet, even on TikTok. That's the crazy thing. It's this woke hellscape of an app, but even there, the comment sections of this person's video are almost exclusively negative. People saying, this is crazy, this is creepy, please stop, what are you doing, Lily? Even people who are pro-trans and are accepting of trans people find this content alarming and disturbing, and I completely understand why. There is something very creepy about a grown adult dressing up like Miss Rachel, a known figure that's targeted towards infants and toddlers, to attempt to deliver in a child-accessible tone strange messages about gender identity and pronouns. There is simply no need to talk to infants or toddlers about pronouns and gender identity. You are just going to confuse them. They literally don't even understand much more basic concepts than that about themselves or about life, so you do not need to go confusing them with concepts including frankly nonsensical concepts like non-binary identity that even adults struggle to understand because they're not actually coherent or logical, you don't need to go confusing literal toddlers and infants with this kind of nonsense. And it's so incredibly frustrating for me as a sane member of the LGBT category, it's not really a community, but as a gay person, because for so long people in our category were lied about and falsely claimed that we were going after the children or that we posed some particular threat to minors, which is not statistically true. And now you have prominent voices and faces of this community going out and actively targeting minors with inappropriate content. That is not just gross in its own right, like it'd be wrong for anyone to do that, but it's also disgusting because you are playing into the worst stereotypes, you are confirming people's prejudices against the LGBT community, and you are giving all of us, but especially all transgender people, most of whom I think even would admit this is crazy, giving them and us more broadly, but especially trans people, a really terrible name. I mean, I cannot imagine a better way to get normal everyday Americans who are fine with gay marriage and don't care if people are gay and even maybe don't really care if some adults are trans, a better way to get them to turn against the LGBT community and become hostile to us and our rights and our acceptance again than this kind of shit. And that's what bothers me about it in particular because it is obviously what we've come to call rage bait. This is content that is deliberately offensive and provocative. It is done in the most antagonistic way imaginable. It is meant to upset people because then, and look, I'm playing into this by talking about it on this show and I do acknowledge that. But then people share the content, this person's profile grows, they comment angrily, which boosts the video in the algorithm and they get more views, they share it with other people to show them how disgusting it is, and that boosts it in the algorithm and it gets more views, and you will notice 
These videos are always just a little bit over one minute. They're a minute and five seconds or something like that. And that's because a minute is the threshold beyond which your video becomes monetized on TikTok. So this individual is earning hundreds to potentially thousands of dollars per video. Now, I respect the hustle. I'm not going to shade a content creator who monetizes their content. I monetize my content. That's fine. But when you are deliberately doing something destructive to your own community and only meant to inflame passions and upset people just so you get more views and more money, that is disgusting and unethical. You are quite literally sabotaging the LGBT community to line your own pockets. I honestly don't know how this person sleeps at night, but I can say I hope they're just kept far away from everyone's kids. You let me know what you think in the comments below. Did you find this as, frankly, demonic as I did? I do want to hear from you. Uh, what, 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 what,